The Republic F-84 Thunderjet was an American turbojet fighter bomber, developed during the 1940s. The Thunderjet served as the U.S. Air Force's primary strike aircraft during the Korean War. It was the first production fighter aircraft to utilize in-flight refueling, and the first fighter capable of carrying a nuclear weapon. The development of the F-84 began in 1944, when Republic started looking for a replacement for the P-47 Thunderbolt. The replacement was intended to use a turbojet engine, and at first there were plans to redesign the P-47 to use a turbojet instead of a piston engine. However this attempt failed, and a new design had to be developed. On September 11, 1944, the U.S. Army Air Forces issued a requirement for a day fighter with a top speed of 600 miles per hour, combat radius of 705 miles and armament of either 60.50-inch or 40.60-inch machine guns. The engine was required to be the Allison J-35 turbojet. In November the same year, Republic received an order for their new model AP-23 design, which was given the designation XP-84. Since Republic had extensive experience in building single-seat fighters, no design competition was held. The new design was named the Thunderjet, since it began as evolution of the P-47 Thunderbolt. In January 1945, before any prototype had flown, the U.S. Army Air Forces expanded the order to include 25 YP-84As and 75 production P-84Bs. However wind tunnel testing revealed longitudinal instability and stabilizer skin buckling at high speeds. Another problem was the weight of the aircraft, since the early turbojets provided low thrust. The third prototype was fitted with a more powerful version of the J-35 engine to solve this problem. The first prototype flew for the first time February 26, 1946, with the second prototype following in August. When the 15 YP-84As were delivered, they were equipped with the more powerful version of the J-35 engine. When production P-84Bs started to be delivered in 1947, there had not been enough flight testing of the XP-84A, due to delayed engine deliveries. This would prove to be problematic. After the establishment of the U.S. Air Force in 1947, the P-84 was redesignated the F-84, and in December of the same year the F-84 entered service. Almost immediately, flight restrictions were imposed for the F-84. The maximum speed was limited to Mach 0.8, due to a problem with control reversals, and the maximum acceleration was limited, due to a problem with wrinkling of the fuselage skin. The F-84 soon earned the nickname Mechanics Nightmare. In May 1948, the entire F-84B fleet was grounded due to structural failures. A following review found that none of the F-84B or F-84C could be considered operational or capable of executing any aspect of their intended mission. However, the F-84D had solutions to the major problems identified. There was an attempt to update all F-84Bs and F-84Cs, but by 1952 they were withdrawn from service. The F-84D entered service in 1949. It had thicker aluminum skin on the wings, a winterized fuel system and a more powerful version of the engine. The wingtip fuel tanks were discovered to be the reason for many of the structural problems. Small fins were added to the tanks to solve these problems. The F-84D was also withdrawn from Air Force service in 1952 although it served in the Air National Guard until 1957. The F-84E entered service in 1949. This version had been further improved, and was also equipped with an A-1C gunsight with APG-30 radar. It could also carry additional fuel tanks, and had an increased combat radius. Despite the improvements, the F-84E had a poor in-service rate. The F-84E was withdrawn from Air Force service in 1956. The definitive straight-winged version of the F-84 was the F-84G, which entered service in 1951. It had a refueling boom, an autopilot ILS system, an improved engine and a redesigned canopy. It was also capable of carrying a singular nuclear bomb. The F-84G served with the Air Force until the mid-1960s. The F-84D and F-84E served in the Korean War, and were initially tasked with escorting the B-29 Superfortress bombers. They were however outmatched by the MiG-15, and soon the F-84 switched to the low-level interdiction role at which it excelled. Thunderjets flew 86,408 missions during the war, 
and were responsible for 60% of all ground targets destroyed in the war. In March 1953, an F-84E was shot down by Czech MiG-15s when it and its wingmate entered Czechoslovakian airspace. The pilot ejected and survived. Between 1961 and 1974, the Portuguese Air Force used F-84Gs in Angola, using it for airstrikes against separatist guerrillas. The straight-winged F-84 Thunderjet was retired from the U.S. Air Force in 1964. 7,524 aircraft were produced. The Thunderjet would however be developed into several other variants, such as the swept-wing F-84F Thunderstreak. Thunderstreak